Okay, in this video we'd like to show you how to perhaps organize your video time studies. Uh, I've got an existing study on the screen here. If I want to create a new one, I click on New Study. Give me the opportunity to save what I have, I say no. If we're going to do a new study, I would, like, would recommend that you store your data in specific places. So if I go to Select Video here, right, you can see here I've actually got a structure set up under my Documents. So I'm going to work in the Machine Shop. In Machine Shop, I'm going to have different parts. And in the parts area, I've got different part numbers here. So under the part number, that's where I'd put the videos. So you can do it any way you want, but you want to have a logical structure so you can easily find the videos and the studies relating to the uh, uh, to the videos. And therefore, I like to do it probably by part number here. So I can open up this uh, video here. And this is the above part. And of course, from here, we're going to do the data collection, just like we've done in other areas. And now we've completed the uh, the time study here. Now we want to save it. So we do File. I select the Save As. And what I'd recommend you do is you do down the same structure. So find your machine shop. Right? Find your parts. Find the part you're dealing with. And put the study into that same folder. The fact of having the study and the video in the same folder will lead to a number of... Uh, make it very easy for you to move the data around later on. And also, if they're using any of our free video viewers, it will make it easy to find the video relating to any of the material you might create. So again, save it into the, exactly the same folder uh, as the video here. So click on Save, and that's it. 